Donald Trump Jr. has reported love interest Kimberly Guilfoyle was once married to a prominent Democrat. Donald Trump Jr. has reported new love interest is a Republican and staunch defender of his father, President Donald Trump. But Fox News host Kimberly Guilfoyle was once married to California's Democratic governor, Gavin Newsom, back in the mid-2000s when he was the mayor of San Francisco who gained national attention for authorizing marriage licenses for same-sex couples. Guilfoyle, a former prosecutor in San Francisco and Los Angeles who's now a co-host of Fox News The Five, married Newsom in 2001 and shortly after began traveling back and forth to New York City as she forged a career in broadcast journalism. Guilfoyle filed for divorce in January 2005, citing the strain of a Bicoso marriage. In 2007, it was revealed that Newsom had had an affair in mid-2005 with Ruby Rippey Turk, the wife of his then-campaign manager and former deputy chief of staff. Alex Turk, Newsom apologized for the affair at the time. Guilfoyle, now 49, went on to marry furniture heir Eric Villancy before they divorced in 2009. In 2017, Guilfoyle was linked to another one-time member of Trump's inner circle, short-lived White House communications director Anthony Scaramucci. After Scaramucci's then-pregnant wife, Deidre Ball, filed for divorce in July 2017. Scaramucci reportedly got close to Guilfoyle. The two were spotted out together in Manhattan and on vacation in Rome, Page Six reported at the time. Scaramucci himself denied the affair and said he and Guilfoyle were just friends. In August 2017, Showbiz 411 reported that the two were shopping for apartments together on Manhattan's Upper West Side. But a source told People at the time that the report was exaggerated. Kimberly and Anthony have long been friends because he's a regular Fox contributor, the source told People. They share the same real estate agent in New York and she lives in the Beresford and he was looking in the Beresford. He asked her if she could look with him because she knows the building so well, just to get her thoughts, explained the source, adding, she lives in the building and he said, is this a good deal? Is this a good unit? What do you think? And it was that simple. Their reported romance came to an end not long after that, as Scaramucci reunited with his wife in November. Here are five more things to know about Guilfoyle as she makes headlines with her latest reported love interest, the president's eldest son, 40, who is in the midst of his own high-profile divorce from wife Vanessa. 1. Guilfoyle was almost named President Trump's White House press secretary. During Trump's transition to the presidency, rumors swirled that Guilfoyle was being considered for a position on his communications team, especially after she was spotted entering Trump Tower in October 2016, Mediate reported. The gig ultimately went to Sean Spicer. Guilfoyle revealed last May that she had been in talks with the Trump administration about becoming the White House press secretary. The plan apparently fell through because Guilfoyle was under a long-term contract with Fox News. A network spokesperson told Politico in May. Guilfoyle told the Mercury News at the time that she would have been honored to accept the job. I'm a patriot, and it would be an honor to serve the country, Guilfoyle said. I think it'd be a fascinating job. It's a challenging job, and you need someone really determined and focused. A great communicator in there with deep knowledge to be able to handle that position. Guilfoyle who said she'd known Trump and his family for more than a decade, added that she had a very good relationship with the president. I think I enjoy a very straightforward and authentic, very genuine relationship, one that's built on trust and integrity, and I think that's imperative for success in that position," she said. According to the New York Times, Trump again floated Guilfoyle to allies as a possible press secretary after Spicer resigned in July 2017, but Sarah Huckabee Sanders ultimately went on to fill that position. Two, she was the first lady of San Francisco. Before Guilfoyle divorced Newsom, she served as the city's first lady during Newsom's first two years as mayor, from 2004 to 2006. During that time, she hosted Prince Charles and wife Camilla when they visited San Francisco. I spent three days with them and it was a wonderful experience, Guilfoyle told People in 2014. Guilfoyle was also married Villancy until their divorce in 2009. The former couple share a son, Ronan Anthony Villancy and are apparently still on good terms, as evidenced by a throwback Instagram photo Guilfoyle posted this week of the her, Villancy and Ronan attending an event together in Washington, D. C. 3. She's a former Victoria's Secret model and actress. Guilfoyle told People in 2014 that she modeled to pay her way through law school. I met an incredible number of interesting people through modeling and really learned a lot about self-confidence and self-worth, she said at the time. Guilfoyle also once starred in a film, Happily Even After. I played an attorney alongside Ed Asner, who played a judge, and Shirley Temple's niece, Marina Temple Black, she told people of the 2004 film that appeared in the Tribeca Film Festival. 4. She's a huge sports fan. I love to watch sports, but play them even more, she told people in 2014. My very first team was an all-boys soccer team. At the time, I really wanted to play soccer, but there was no girls team at my school. So my mom met with the coach and said, please let Kimberly try out with the boys. 
but don't take her because I am asking you, only if she's good enough. 5. Gil Foyle and Trump Jr. aren't Instagram official, yet, according to page 6, the pair were seen arriving together at a party in New York City on Sunday evening for President Trump's new ambassador to Germany, Richard Grenell. After the party, Trump Jr. and Gil Foyle left together and went to a late dinner at Harry Cipriani restaurant on Fifth Avenue. They separately posted Instagram photos from the night and apparently were not photographed together. Gil Foyle did, however, like several of Trump Jr.'s Twitter posts this week.